A theorem is a composition that's used by stencils, and during the period the term theorem meant stencil. You'll see pictures that are either baskets of flowers or fruits, but you can also see genre pictures or morning pictures. Today, they're recognized fairly widely as a common 19th century form, but they were most popular really in the second quarter of the 19th century. Theorems, because they mean stencil, can be created on any type of form, um, but most often they're on a cotton velvet. Sometimes you see them also on paper. Well, we're very excited at Colonial Waynesburg to be showcasing some of our favorite theorems. We probably have the largest collection of these things, first started with Abby Aldrich Rockefeller, and it's been many years since we've had them on view. I think modern day viewers today and folk art enthusiasts associate the form with 19th century American folk art. So we'll showcase about a dozen objects. One of the things that we felt was very important was to be able to show how theorems were made and to go through the step-by-step -step process so that you or I or any visitor could really understand how this was accomplished. We invited Nancy Rozier, who was a nationally recognized theorem artist, and we had her go through the process step-by-step -step of how she would recreate these compositions. Theorem painting was accessible to all people in the 19th century, and I think that's one of the reasons why it is still popular today and still practiced. But in the 19th century, you could read a popular ladies' magazine and follow instructions on how to produce a theorem in your own home, but it would also be something that was part of curriculum in a girls' school. We have evidence for men and women, children, professionals and amateurs all creating these types of compositions. Um, certainly theorem painting had its heyday in the second quarter of the 19th century, but I think because it was such an accessible art, the tradition has continued. There were revival periods of interest in the beginning of the 19th or 20th century um, when people were starting to look back at the history of our country. But um, today, people still practice and appreciate the art, and that's one of the reasons why we wanted to pull an exhibit together and share it with our visitors.